you'll never find another love like mine one who loves you the way I do you'll never find as long as you live 2020 one who loves you the way i do oh i love the love the love the love you baby i love you girl you in my world is true new joke t smith you never find i never loved like mine Happy, happy Labor Day to all y'all out there. Smelling like barbecue out here. People was out in the park. I ain't even think people come out here this late to get out here and walk. But as you can see, it is quite crowded out here. Nice and cool. T. Smith. It's nice and cool out here. Feels good. Man over here playing soccer, practicing by himself with the wall. Got the beautiful young ladies out here walking. EJ. EJ Miller in the building. Slaughter just stepped in. You already know. Salute. Yeah, yeah, come on in, come on in, y'all. Let the notifications go out. Y'all know the notifications take long to go out. Double O, what up? Man over here on the grill, grilling. I should have came out here and grilled today. Who out there got a barbecue going on right now? Somebody on the grill where you at? Let me know. Man, got the grill going right here. I wonder how much you charge him for one rib. How much is for one rib? <laughs> ah, that barbecue smell good, man. I don't think I got on the grill. Yeah, I, I don't think I got on the grill this summer yet. I don't think I did. And my people were supposed to go out on the grill, but it rained us out. I guess we're going to have to do it before the summer ends. Or well, this is the last week of the summer, isn't it? We at the beach today. 
Portal Grills is a must. Portable Grills. John Paul, what up? It's too damn hot to grill out here in Charlotte. It shouldn't be that hot in Charlotte. I think it's like 90 here. Come on in, come on in. See, this is why I play my music in the beginning. Because it takes forever for these notifications to go out. And I came out here late. So it may get dark on me. But I had to come out here to get my workout on. I've been working on the project that I'm getting ready to release. And I'm telling you, it's taking a lot out of me. Because I got to do all kind of stuff that just some of y'all wouldn't understand, some of y'all would understand. But uh, I'm about to drop a project on y'all, along with my other project that's going to be coming out soon. So hard work, y'all. Hard, hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work. Right? So, uh, My bad, y'all. Everybody want to be calling right now. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. There's people calling my phone. Am I back? Can y'all see me now, double O? All right, we back. All right, good. All right. So, tonight. Tonight's the night, the night. Whoa. Yeah, we back, we back. So, tonight, I had to come on because, as y'all can see, for y'all that's loyal watchers, you know, you newcomers, y'all might not be aware of what I'm about to talk about. That's why you got to subscribe to the channel and be loyal to choke no joke for you to understand what's going on because I don't be wanting to recap everything. This is for the loyal ones. So this is for the, the loyal viewers today because I'm not going to really go that far back into this this is for those who rock with me and been rocking with me god that goddamn barbecue smell good Whew. that smell of the charcoal cooking that meat but um yeah like i said i'm not i'm not going uh reiterate everything so today i posted uh, a video that I was telling y'all that, you know, the loyal ones, you remember I was telling y'all a little while ago that, you know, I could prove to y'all that I saw Jay-Z and Aaliyah together as a couple because I interviewed them uh, at Little Kim's album release party at the Punk Building. And um, oh, let me get a set in before it get too dark and the dead be walking out on me. Um, yeah, so what you call it? I was telling y'all 
a while ago that that I had an interview Aaliyah a while ago in the year 2000 when she was dating Jay-Z. Now, a lot of people didn't believe me. And those who are, you know, loyal watches that know I don't be capping and I don't be lying and it's truth be told all day, every day, even on your birthday on this channel. I hope somebody counted that. Because <laughs> I got lost in 70. It was between 70 and 80. That's all right, though. I know I counted 70 at least. I lost count after 70, because I was trying to go to 100. Double O, you counted 80? Yeah, me too. Cool, thanks. Joe, do you do warm after salt baths when you get it in? Dry off warm. And some warm avocado oil for your joints stretch gently. Yeah, I do that. After I work out, I take an Epsom salt bath. Then I stand up and take a shower. Thank you, Nandy. I'm trying to get on the cover of Men's Fitness. I'm glad I could be an inspiration to somebody. So now getting back to Jay-Z and Aaliyah, right? Like I said, if you're a lawyer, you watch your you already know what I'm talking about, so I'm not going back to the beginning. So I told y'all that I knew for a fact that Jay-Z was with Aaliyah because I seen them together. And I told y'all about how I went over to Jay with Aaliyah. They came in the party, booed up hand in hand. And I asked Jay, like, yo, can we do an interview with y'all? He was like, yeah, but not together. Like, do it separately. And I told y'all about this. But many people didn't believe me that I was telling the truth about that. So I sold y'all the pictures from that day. And if you go into my community channel, my community page right now, I, po I posted the picture of the collage that I had created back then. 
when I was working at BET, when everybody was trying to say that the breakup of Rockefeller ain't had nothing to do with Aaliyah. <clears throat> so I had created, created, got, got tired of arguing about it. So I created this collage and show all the pictures with Jay and Aaliyah, as well as the day that Jay told me personally, yo, just interview us separately. They ain't, you know, cause they ain't want people to know they was a couple. So I'll put those, I place, I played the video, just a little piece of the interview today with my host, Mr. Excitement. Shout out to Mr. Excitement. Like a lot of y'all don't even realize that that was us. Street Funk TV on public access in, in New York City that y'all all used to watch on B-Cat or Bronx Net. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was me. That was me, Mr. Excitement, Mellow Mike Hype, uh, Dean Ramondo, JB. It's a, a whole list of people that was involved, you know what I'm saying, in that. But after Ralph McDaniels, it's us. You know what I'm saying? So, and Ralph McDaniels know it. He'll tell y'all, Choke No Joke was everywhere. Some interview, I mean, some places Ralph was shooting, I was shooting. You know, so I would call it. I've been in this and I've been doing this. And I see now I'm going to have to go through my street funk days to show y'all who the hell Choke No Joke is. Because y'all, y'all like, we've been in, interviewing Aaliyah and Dr. Dre and, and Timberland and Missy and all, like, come on, Puff, Baby, Lil Wayne back in the days. When Wayne was only 14. It's like these dudes is trying to front on me. And I know I just be talking about choke no joke career, but even before I did that, I had my live music channel and street phone that I was producing, directing, and shooting for. So that Aaliyah interview that y'all see on my page with uh Saul from Saul and Pepper, that was that Lil' Kim's album release party in the Puck building. That's 23 years ago. I did that. 23 years ago. Still independent. How was you? How old was you 23 years ago? When I was interviewing Aaliyah and and and, and saw and everybody y'all see in that video. If you just look at the clips, Russell Simmons there, Tyson Beckford is there. You know, but don't worry, I'm gonna bring y'all all those interviews. You know what I'm saying? I'm pulling them out now. And I'm going to be dropping, you know, because it's like, y'all ain't got to give me my flowers. I'll pick them myself. And it just make y'all out there that don't want to give me my props, like the BETs, because they not hugging Jay-Z, you know, and all those people. I'm going to show y'all they hate it. I'm going to show y'all to make y'all be like, yo, damn, how y'all ain't got choked? on none of this 50 year hip hop stuff, all this stuff he did. How many people you know it could go and pull a Aaliyah interview like that? And that ain't the only Aaliyah interview. We ain't interviewed her at the tunnel when she performed at the tunnel. That's just one of the many times and one of the many parties that we was together. Same thing with Jay-Z. Plenty of Jay-Z before he was, he blew up. So now that I see that Netflix and all of them act like they don't understand the value and the content that I got 30 years of content, why they call me the content king, I'm going to show y'all independently. Because I just did a new distribution deal. And I ain't got to go through nobody. I ain't got to get approved through, through nobody. All I got to do is just give up a percentage. And I maintain my ownership of all my stuff. Oh, I need some push-ups. I maintain the ownership of all my stuff. And I get the bigger percentage. So I ain't 
I'm not tripping because in a minute, y'all going to see all my projects everywhere. And I, I thank God that we don't have to go in these buildings no more and do deals. Thank you to VOD and different platforms. I might have been 50, which will bring me to 130 and two sets. Steady grinding, what up? Push-ups take a lot out of them. But they got my chest right. It's making that, that stomach turn into a six-pack. So, getting back to my live music channel show. So, my live music channel show was at the show that, that I created and when I broke off from Street Phone that I did independently, but, you know, I still brought the same crew with me because I got a deal for me by myself. But, you know, I brought the same team with us and it was the first time, you know, because doing the street phone trucks, I never got a check for that. You know what I'm saying? It was all me doing a bunch of hard work and shit to build the name, to build our company and build it up because we became partners after a while. And then I broke out and did the solo thing, but I still had Dean and, uh, and uh, excitement with me. And we continued going. And then after that is when I went to Rockefeller. But you know, these are years apart, right? So. And my highest rating on uh, that live music channel was the 2.6 on the Nielsen ratings. And that was my Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre show at the tunnel, which is mean 2 million viewers, 6, 2,600,000 viewers on a TV show. Me independently doing that. And I wrote, produced, directed that show. Okay. Even when we had the Street Funk show, we got the B-Cat Award. So many years in the in a the row, they retired us. That's how, that's how much we was killing them. Killing Ralph 2, video music box. Yeah, we got retired from the award show because we got, kept winning too much. But they ain't gonna tell y'all that. They not gonna tell y'all that. So like I said, they ain't got to give me my flowers. I'll pick them. They ain't got to give me mines. I'll take them. So the clip that y'all seeing with Aaliyah, Salt, is just one of many shows that I did with my live music channel show. Mr. Excitement as my host. Chara Moore was my host. Um, yeah, Excitement and Chara. So, 
like I said, I'm gonna bring y'all more of those. But for all those that was in my comments about where's the receipts, I don't see no receipts. That's because you're not a frequent watcher of Choke No Joke. The receipt was me showing Aaliyah that I got an interview with Aaliyah. That was the receipt. You seen my host excitement talking to her. That was the receipt. That's all you needed to see. All my people that follow me on the regular, that's all they needed to see. It was, oh yeah, Choke did interview Aaliyah. And then they gonna go and they gonna pull up the picture with Jay-Z and Aaliyah in 2000 at the Puck building. And they gonna see Aaliyah's outfit. And then they gonna see the pictures and see Aaliyah and Jay-Z booed up, looking all nervous and shit. Cause they didn't want nobody to see them together. And I'm standing there. When you seeing Jay and Aaliyah and them pictures looking around, that's me standing right there talking to Jay, asking him to do the interview. And he like, not together, you know, do it separately. But Johnny Nunez is snapping pictures while Jay and Aaliyah looking around and shit. Like, cause Jay like, yo, don't, don't do us together. Do it separately. So they, they looking around and see how much people is watching them together. And while they doing that, Johnny snapping pictures. So back then, Johnny used to give his pictures to Getty, Getty Images. And that's how I was able to retrieve them way back then. Because even, the, you know, Johnny got pictures of me on Getty Images and everybody else that who was around around that time. But it was, it was perfect for me because I was able to get grab those receipts and show y'all that when choke talk, there's no cap. Had to get some dips in real quick. Yeah, I like working on the upper body.